So what can you get done during rainy days? You kind of stuck inside. You can't do a whole lot outside and I sure can't take this stuff outside to go film with. So that's kind of out. But we're going to give it a shot. And I do have one very special guest to start out with that you're going to love. Check them out. Hey Colton, here's some questions. What's your favorite part of farming? Hmm? What's your favorite part? Is it the chickens? Or is it the ducks? Or the rabbits? Which part is it? <laughs> Which part is it? Are you a hard farm boss? Is that you, the hard, tough farm boss? Is that what you are? You gonna come down on me hard? Make sure I'm doing my job? Hmm? Is that your chickens and your ducks and your rabbits? Is that the way it is? I know. I know it is. Well, I know you gotta be tough, but it's just part of your job. <laughs> So that was my grandson, Colton. He's cute as button, isn't he? Anyway, hopefully he'll grow up and I can at least teach him a uh, better way to eat food, better way to grow food, a uh, way to eat, to eat healthier, cleaner, um, and not to worry so much about what you can get buy in a grocery store. I think a lot more people need to start doing that, but that's my own personal opinion. But anyway, I at least wanted you to get to meet Colton. Remember, I was telling you about the uh, how all the animals, when they would rain, they'd go inside except for the ducks. They thought it was party time. Look at this. I hope you got that, but or at least I hope you could see it because everybody else is inside. Chickens are all in their coop. Rabbits are all snuggled down. It's pouring down, but the ducks, party central. They think it's a big party. <laughs> it's insane. Told you, they're nuts. Now I'm hoping you're getting those nut bags. Look. You know, I'm just lollygagging around like it's the middle of the summer day. They're idiots. Okay. Okay. So since it's a rainy day today, I've got some stuff inside I can get done. So let's uh, let's start with the apple cider vinegar. It's about time to go ahead and uh, thin that stuff out and uh, get it set because I think it's pretty well done. Or at least I'll affirm it's done to it. So we'll see. Sitting out for a while now. Let's see how the stuff looks. So, here's the ones that's been sitting. They look pretty good. They stopped bubbling, so I know the ferment's done. So, it's just time to get the, the solid particles out, or at least the solid apples. Now, I'll leave the mother in it because I still want that in there. That's good for good for you, good for your animals, or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna thin that or uh, get this stuff out, and I'll end up just taking this stuff and feeding it to the chickens. They love it. So uh, let's get it all thinned out.
See, that's the stuff I'll end up taking outside and just throwing to the chickens. They love it. I think I can just top the other one off of that. So I'm going to take this leftover stuff and I'm going to take it out and junk it to the chickens. They love it. Okay, as far as how to tell when your apple cider vinegar is good, number one, is of course you're going to see the bubbling stop in your, your fermentation process, but you can smell it. Early on it kind of smells, it has that alcohol smell to it and that's what you're waiting to kind of evaporate off. But secondly, it'll start smelling, get that vinegar smell to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's some good vinegar. I think I could probably drink a, like a shot of that in the mornings. Speaking of which, I'm gonna end up making some of that uh, fire cider or that uh, health tonic. I think I'm gonna start taking that stuff like once a once a morning. Um, but when I get ready to make that, I'll uh, I'll put that on here. But at least that's ready to go. Apple cider vinegar is good, so the animals will be happy. Keep them healthy. So let's get those leftovers out to the chickens, because the rain has kind of let up a little bit right now. At least enough for me to go out in there and throw that stuff out, and I can check their water while I'm out there uh, and see if they left any late afternoon eggs, which I doubt today because this morning I went out and we had nine eggs. So I doubt there's gonna be any today, but we can check. All right, I got the uh, leftovers and we've had a break in the rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this on out to the chickens. She fixing to see some chickens go stupid. They eat this stuff up like it's candy. <laughs> yep, they're already coming to the fence. They know when I come out, so I'm out. Some, something that's coming out is going to be good. All right, chickens, y'all ready? Huh? Y'all ready? And like uh, like normal, told you about dummies over there. <laughs> They've been out enjoying the, the rain, looking at me when I'm coming out now. Not, now the rain's kind of died off a little bit. Like, where you been, dummy? <laughs> <clears throat> Them ducks, entertaining as usual. So this is our system for Taking that corn that I made, the deer corn I made for the chickens. We're just taking it over here. Let it sit. And you'll get some once a day. But they're definitely getting more nutrition out of this and they were out of the hard corn. So it worked out great. A lot better than what I anticipated. So we'll go chunk that out for the chickens. We still got that break in the rain, but I got a feeling there's more coming here very shortly. So we're gonna be stuck inside anyway. 
You know, we really hadn't tried the, the new kind of corn with the ducks yet. So definitely ain't gonna hurt them, but I'm just curious as to whether or not they'll eat it. So we're gonna find out, because I got their, got them a batch here too. So let's just see. Let's find out. I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna stand here all day waiting on waiting on him. I have to come back out and check it later and just see if it's gone. It's the only way to check behind them. <laughs> we'll see. So there are some people that do the uh, 12 on 12 off as far as feeding their, their chickens go. <clears throat> They'll feed them during the day and then cut them off at night. But uh, with them going in as early as they do and all, I don't do that. I let them eat whenever, whenever they want to eat. I don't care. My chickens are less stressed. They eat what they want to, when they want to. And other people are having problems with chickens laying eggs right now. Not me. I'm getting as many as they can pump out a day. <clears throat> I mean, they still steady at it. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. They can cut them off at night if they want to, but I don't think that's doing them good. My chickens keep laying. They eat like they want to, so it's working for me. As far as the water goes, I make sure they keep them with fresh water. <clears throat> I definitely don't want them going thirsty or getting dehydrated, especially with them laying as much as they're laying. think as much as I change out these jokers or you'd have to worry about algae and stuff building up but I don't care how much I clean them or whatever I do even changing the water out you know at least twice a day mostly if not more especially during the summertime now, during the summertime I change the water out a lot more just because I don't want this kind of stuff building up in it. But you would think with cooler weather and changing out the water like I do, you wouldn't have to worry about stuff building up in the water. Still does. <clears throat> so I just clean it out. <clears throat>
Okay, so you may wonder about the bottles. Right now my chickens and ducks and rabbits are on there one week for their mixing with their apple cider vinegar. So we'll take this. Give them one little scoop in it. And just fill it up. And then that'll go for tomorrow. We'll, that's how to get the apple cider vinegar. So you're talking about for one gallon of water, we'll put in two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in it. Keep them from getting worms. It works great. And that's why we end up going through so much of that homemade stuff, which is a lot cheaper than going to the store and buying this stuff all the time. I can tell you that. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if you'll please like. Uh, subscribe and share if you can we certainly appreciate it and uh, not a whole lot to do on rainy days which you saw Penelope snoozing us about all she's doing today too but uh, hopefully you have had a good day and the rain will let up and things will get even better I can't wait for spring to show up so we can actually start getting some good planting done but hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and if you have any comments or suggestions whatever just Leave me in the comments below. Thanks for watching.